Okay then, Mr. Powell. Well, we'll, we'll go ahead and do, now that we've uh, discussed what type of product you want, let's go ahead and get an application and put it into the system. Sounds good. All right, give me one second here to input your file. Okay. There we go. And find the last name here. Okay. Now, when I'm getting it uh, populated in, it didn't have your uh, middle initial in there. What is your middle initial? M. Okay. And, Mr. Powell, are you a junior, senior, second, third, or are you the one and only? I'm the one and only. Okay. And go ahead and give me your date of birth. That's 2888. Okay. And then go ahead with your social. 304-06-9261. Okay. And do you have any other names you'd like to go by or just Blake? Just Blake. Okay, and then the number I have on file, 574-286-4896, is that going to be the best number to reach you on? Yes. And is that your home or your cell? That is my cell. Okay, do you have a home number? Uh, I just use my cell phone. Okay, not a problem. Most people are doing that nowadays. Okay, now, how long have you been at the uh, current uh, residence on Happy Lane? I believe it's been nine years. Okay. Now, I know that uh, in conversation you said you were married. Are you planning on having your wife on the mortgage, or are you just wanting her on title? Um, probably just title, just me on the mortgage. Okay. And did you say that the property is detached? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. And let me just plug in the loan program here. We're going to be doing a 30-year cash, or I'm sorry, 30-year no cash out. We're just going to be paying off the first mortgage, dropping you from six and a half down to the four and a quarter. Perfect. Okay. And um, while I'm plugging in this information, you said the house you thought, um, based on your last assessment, was going to be right around 750000 Yeah, I think so, with the uh, improvements we've made over the years. Okay. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is I just want to uh, go ahead and save the file real quick. That way, uh, if anything were to happen, we won't lose anything. So bear with me one second. Yeah, that'd be awful. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're all saved here. And I can't forget to uh, add... Ruthie, who uh, was the one that got you on the phone into the file, she'll get mad if I don't give her credit. She was a sweetheart. She is. Okay, so let's add her in here real fast. Okay. Now, uh, what year did you say the house was built? I believe 2002. Okay. 12 years old there. And then you guys have been in there since 2005, correct? Correct. Okay. And the original cost? I think we got it for yeah, 500000 Okay. And that's also the existing lien now. Okay, and uh, do you know if there's a prepayment penalty on that existing mortgage? I do not think so. Okay. Now, since you guys have uh, moved into the house, um, what uh, what type of improvements have you made? Uh, we completely gutted and put in a new kitchen, and then we added a uh, full bath. Okay, and how much do you think uh, that ended up running you? Uh, it had to be a good 80000 Okay. And then uh, I'm at the part where I'm going to add your wife on the title here. And what is her first name? Her first name is Ashley. Okay, how do you spell that? 
A-S-H-L-E-I-G-H. Okay, middle initial? D. D. D is in Victoria. Okay. All right, give me one second here. And how many years in school did you have, Mr. Powell? Um, two in grad school, that'd be 18. Okay. And um, do you have any rugrats that you claim on your taxes, any dependents? Not that I know of. Okay, well, we'll keep it that way here. All right, now your present address is also the same as your mailing address, correct? Correct. Okay. And what company do you work for? I work for Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, huh? Well, now I can see why you would uh, come to us for your refinance transaction. Yeah, I heard you guys to get it done, so I'm coming to you. We can do it. And uh, do you know the address there at Wells Fargo? Uh, it is 1-800, or, sorry, 1800. Uh-huh. Stupid line. Okay, and what about the zip code there? That is uh, 33364. Okay. And what is your position there? I am the Chief Technology Officer. All right, and a two-part question here for you, Blake. How many years in this line of work, and how many years have you been with Wells Fargo? Let's see, 10 years total, and six years with uh, Wells. Okay. All right, so we're good there on employment. And uh, are you paid on a salary? Are you hourly? A salary. Okay. And what did you gross last year? One hundred twenty thousand. Okay. All righty. And then, do you have any other additional income that you have? Yes, uh, I do some direct networking on the side. Okay. And how much did you make in that last year? Fifteen thousand, I believe. Okay. Are you going to be able to provide uh, 1099 so that we can include that in? Yep. Okay. So that is, let's see here, $1,250. And then let me add that to a second job here. And what is the name of that uh, that company that you do direct sales for? Uh, Advocare. Okay. And do you just do that out of your home? Okay. And just to refresh my memory, it was 123 Happy Lane. Yep. And how long have you been doing that? About two years. Okay. And go ahead and give me your cell phone number one more time. 574-286-4896. Okay. All right. Now, um, I know you told me that currently your mortgage payment is at uh, $5,000, and that is including your taxes and insurance, correct? Correct. Okay. Do you know about what your taxes are? Yeah, taxes are uh, about two grand. Okay, so we got about $166 a month there. And then what about your homeowner's insurance? That's uh, probably around $1,500. $1,500. All right, so we got $125 there. You go ahead and add in your mortgage payment as well. You bear with me. All right. Okay, so $47.08 and $0.34. Cents. And you're currently not paying mortgage insurance, correct? Correct. Okay. Just add this to the new payment here. Okay. Any other additional income that you want me to add in? Oh, that, that's it. Okay. Now, um, who are you currently banking with, Blake? Chase. Chase, okay. Is it checking, savings, both? Uh, both. Okay. And uh, I know most people pay their bills with their uh, checking account. So uh, what do you guys have in the account currently? Uh, currently, we try to keep around four grand. 
Okay. okay. And then what about the uh, savings account with Chase? Savings, we have about 150000 Okay. Okay. And then um, what about any retirement accounts? Do you have a 401k through Wells Fargo or any uh, IRAs? Yeah, 401k. Okay. And what was your, uh, on your last quarterly statement, what was the balance? Uh, we were 60000 Okay. Alrighty, good deal. Let me go ahead and uh, we're at the credit portion of the application here. So let me just click on that. Yep. All right, well, your credit looked great. You had no uh, 30, 60, 90 day lates on any of the accounts, no judgments, liens, foreclosures, or tax liens showing up. So excellent work there. I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, Oh, um, while I'm down here on the liability screen, are you uh, currently paying any alimony? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Let me just fill this in here. And um, I'm not seeing anything on here, but sometimes it doesn't show up on the credit report. Do you have any other additional properties that might show up on your title? I do not. Okay. All right. Let me just mark this as your primary residence. You got seven hundred and fifty thousand as the value. 500000 on the mortgage. Current payment is 5000 with your escrow included. And then we're on the last page here. I appreciate you bearing with me. Definitely. Appreciate you having me out. Of course. Okay, these are just a series of yes or no questions. It's only going to be pertaining to you, and then we're going to finish it off with uh, a couple of government monitoring questions. Um, the first question, though, is do you have any outstanding judgments against you? Okay, have you declared bankrupt in the last seven years? Nope. Ever had any property foreclosed upon? Nope. Are you a party to any lawsuits? Nope. Have you been obligated on any loan resulting in foreclosure? Nope. Are you presently delinquent or in default on any federal debt? Nope. Okay, and I already asked about the alimony or child support, and you said no there. This is not a purchase, so the down payment is not required. Are you a co-maker or endorser on any notes? Have you co-signed for uh, anybody to get a car or anything like that? Nope. Okay. U.S. citizen? Yep. Okay. And then do you intend to occupy the property as your primary residence? Yep. Okay. And that means yes there. And it is your primary home, and you're holding the title with your spouse. Last uh, three questions for you, Mr. Powell. Um, again, they're just government monitoring questions to make sure that uh, myself nor anyone else that you speak to at my company is discriminating against you in any way. It just goes over your ethnicity, race, and sex. But the first question is, is do you wish to give me this information? Yeah. Okay. Are you Hispanic or Latino? Yeah. Okay. Are you American Indian, Native Hawaiian, Asian, white, or black? Okay, and I'll take a, a stab in the dark with the uh, deep tone of your voice. It will be marking male down here. Yeah, you got it. All right. And we took this application over the phone. Let me just plug in my number here real quick. And today's date. Okay, so what I'm going to do here first, uh, Mr. Powell, is I'm going to um, send you out a copy of your credit report. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up all these numbers, and we'll go ahead and uh, get you approved today and get out those sign-up package. Um, if you can, work on that list of uh, items that I told you I need in order to get this sign-up package out to you, the income docs that I requested, um, and then we'll go ahead and plan on getting back on the phone here within the next hour or so and get this thing going for you. Awesome. That sounds great, Joe. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. We'll talk to you soon, Blake. Take care. Bye-bye.